welcome back to another video um, on HE Outdoors. So this video is tiger muskie fishing here in Colorado. We don't have a lot of tiger muskie, so coming across one is really rare. We don't have any normal muskie and very few pike. CPW thought that's a good idea to kind of do a war on pike, even though rainbows are probably the most invasive species in Colorado, but they don't classify them as invasive. But I hope you enjoy the video. I just got back from a day of lake trout fishing. Um, it was my first ever time lake trout fishing. I caught 13, or I caught 10, my dad caught 3. Nothing big, but at least we figured them out and we know what to do next time. So next time I go out and I know what to do, I'll bring the camera and y'all can see that. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Alright, so what's happening here is it's still early in the morning, so the muskie, they're not completely, you know, active. So, I'm just throwing around, uh, I think it's a 7 or 8 inch jerk bait, and I'm fishing it uh, pretty fast, but then I'm doing some long pauses in there, as you can see, and the... We tried spinning tackle a lot, but nothing really seemed to work. The best thing that happened was we got uh, a couple follows on these jerk baits, but you know, that was it. We didn't really have any action coming in on these. Um, we think we got a few taps, but you know, it's really hard to tell. So, you can see this muskie right here. Later in the day, this bay was full of muskies. I mean, you can see one there, one behind it, and then you can see the one that I'm working right there. Um, I switched up to a fly rod. You know, I tried a more finesse presentation, um, seeing if that would work, and it seemed to draw their attention more, but you know, they were really finicky, and it was super tough to get them to eat. So, I mean, we worked these muskie all day. They were everywhere. You can see them here. I mean, everywhere you looked, there was three or four muskie. Um, because, you know, in spring, a lot of times these muskie, uh, they'll suspend in deeper water. We were in like 10 feet in this video right here. But um, later in the video, we're only in about two feet. So, I mean, they weren't as aggressive as I'd like them to be, but it is what it is. So, you can see these two fish here. I mean, I'm casting on and on and on of these. Um, I missed one at one point, and here's a hookup that I have. So, here I was in about two feet of water. And I was just working this fish for, boy, I don't know, probably seven or eight minutes, and he finally came to eight. He looked pretty small, but when I got him out of the water, he was decent. Obviously not big for a muskie, but he was my first muskie, and obviously my first muskie on a fly rod, which is pretty exciting, because I usually fish for muskie and pike on spin gear. You can see he was he was a pretty feisty fish did not like me uh trying to touch him i tried you know handling him as best as possible we don't have a super big net and i know that those are important but just haven't gotten one yet so we're work i'm working on this fish and it took a while to get the fly out but i got it So you can see that fish, he's a beautiful muskie, um, not big, but he's extremely healthy, super fat, 
um, they were just talking to a guy on the bank, but, um, here's the release, beautiful fish, fun fight, um, surprisingly it didn't go far, kind of stayed shallow. And I apologize, this was the same day as my trout and smallmouth video, so the audio wasn't working the whole day. I figured it out later, uh, what was wrong, but not until the day ended. So this was after we kept hitting these muskies for hours. We were we fished for them probably seven, seven hours. Caught one. Had a, lots of follows, you know, I had some nosing it. It was, it was a lot of fun watching them too, but you know, they're hard fish, especially here in Colorado. They're very pressured, but did my best. So enjoy the rest of the video and 